There's been quite a bit of NFL players retiring as of late, but I'm not just talking about the older ones. No, we're talking about young players. So what is the common theme in all of this? Well, we're going to talk about Nasir Adderley and his deci decision to leave the NFL at age 25. We'll talk about it in just a second. First, guys, if you could, YT lets you try and hit that like button for me. Very important also, please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe. Wear the glasses because I'm blind. And guys, if you enjoy my work here and you're able to help contribute to my ministry with a generous donation, a couple different ways you can do that. One, just click the super thanks down below on this video here. That opens up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation and leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. You could also help me out with my goal for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons to sign up and bless our ministry for as little as five bucks a month at patreon.com slash conservative truth. We have one new sign up so far, guys, but we're still looking for four more to make the goal happen. And we did it for January and February. So help me keep the streak for 2023 going. With Patreon, you're going to get the alerts for all my content. You're not going to get that with YT, guys. So if you don't want to miss any videos, make sure you're logged into Patreon. Also there, you comment on all the videos completely censorship-free. You can send me direct messages. And as a bonus, if you want to know my story, how did I go blind? How do I operate my entire video ministry with no physical sight at all? People always ask me questions. I did a video that explains it all. It's in the description below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So uh, this came out of nowhere. This announcement, Los Angeles Rams safety, Nasir Adderley putting out a post on his Instagram. This was just a couple of days ago that he is done with football. Okay. 25 years old. This is somebody that was a second round draft pick for the LA Rams. He spent the last three seasons playing there. He started in, in over 44 games and out of nowhere, he's saying, that's it. I'm done. Now his reasoning for this is he says that this is Due to his health, he's saying there's nothing more important to me than my health, being in the right place. Now, he said, I'm not specifically referring to my physical health, but pointing to his mental health. He says, I do not want to have to work for somebody else. He said, I want to focus on my own business ventures and do some other things, even though he says, I recognize that. I was just really, you know, getting into the peak of my, you know, my prime here, my physical career as an athlete. But, you know, with the little hints here that, well, being controlled by the NFL is not something that Nasir Adderley wanted to do any longer. Now, let's also take a look at the fact of how he came into the league. You know, the past three seasons, which you can look at as the whole cuckoo era and all the restrictions that the NFL put on their athletes if they wouldn't, you know, go and get the pinchy. Remember, like if they tested positive, they would have to, you know, go through all these ridiculous protocols and even sit out games. And they, they put these people through just the ringer. Okay, let's just say that. Um, and what did they do? The goal here was to make the players miserable so they would conform and eventually take the pinchy. You know, and Aaron Rodgers was somebody that spoke out about this uh, a lot when it was all going. Now I know since then they've, you know, dropped mandates and the, the protocols for the pinching and all of that. But did all of that play a factor in Nasir Adderley's decision to say, you know what, I'm not about this. I want nothing to do with it. But besides just the pinchy and all of that, let's look at all the woke initiatives within the NFL as well. All their pandering to BLM and the rainbow community and this and that. I, I mean, it's disgusting. It has caused not just fans. We know the fans have walked away from the sport. But now the athletes are saying as well, I'm done. I don't care about the money. They're leaving millions upon millions of dollars on the table because they don't want to have to deal with this mess and they want to go out and do other things. Now, whether a Durley himself had took the pinchy or not, you know, I, I, look, it, it's just a sign that they're done with this. They want nothing to do with the woke sports. This should be a major message to the NFL when you have, and again, a Durley's not the only one. There have been several others just in this past year that have walked away that are very young as well. You know, before you would think that, and it was, that players wanted more than anything to play sports, to be in the NFL and all these other, you know, NHL, NBA and everything else like that. 
But increasingly, we are seeing more, and it's it's happened within the NBA as well, like I said, in other sports, that are saying, we're, we're done. We, we want nothing to do with this. And other players have said the same thing about their health being number one. Now, again, he could be just alluding to the mental health thing, but it also could be because of the pinchy as well and tired of all these games. But will this walk away movement, if you want to call it that, from sports from these players at such a young age, do anything to change these organizations? My answer to that, ladies and gentlemen, is no. I don't think they will. I think they've dug their heels in on the woke hill, and they're going to continue to ride that out, even if that means, yeah, they're going to lose a lot of money. They're going to lose a lot of everything. Um, viewers, but at the end of the day, they don't care. This is an agenda, and you have to look at this too. This is end-time Bible prophecy. There is a coordinated effort to completely, you know, take this society and pitch it over here in favor of a new society or a new world order. Again, it has to come to pass. It's biblical prophecy. Jesus himself is coming back soon. Now, I'm going to put more on a Durley down below here in the description, and I welcome your thoughts. What I want to do right now, though, is something that I do on all these videos. Let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. I talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines that keep you up to speed and everything going on. I do it because we are in the last days and Christ is coming soon. If you're somebody watching right now and you have never received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, you want to acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back into your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away and the Bible says that he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. You go to patreon.com slash conservative truth. Sign up for as little as five bucks a month. Help me out with my goal for the month of March, trying to get five new patrons. Remember, we have one new sign up so far, but we're still looking for four more to make the goal happen, just as we did for January and February, guys. So help me keep the streak of 2023 going. You can also click the super thanks down below on this video here. That opens up a donation prompt for you to make a one-time donation and leave a comment with that that gets pinned down below. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.